stop today. It's, it's been incredible. It's been a lot of hard work. He's worked so hard to get what he has. And yet we have had so much fun. So much fun. Well, Dwayne and I met at Brigham Young University. We lived in the same apartment complex, which was great. He actually had um, asked me, called me and asked me if he could have the phone number of a past roommate of mine. And uh, I actually wanted to go out with him, and so I wouldn't give him the number. And so um, somehow he said, well, I have a roommate that I'd like to line you up with. So I actually went out with his roommate and I went over to his apartment that night on my date with his roommate and he walked out playing a harmonica. And uh, I'm like looking at him while I'm sitting on the couch with my date, wondering how come he didn't ask me out. And I think it was just shortly right after that date that he realized he wanted to ask me out. And from that day that we dated, we never were apart from each other. V very much through the corporate ladder. That's how I'd best describe life before Zango. In the eight years of post-education experience, I had worked for two Fortune 100 companies. We relocated back to Utah and went to work with an, a company in this industry that had been here about 35 years. What was so unique was this was my first exposure to this industry of network marketing. The first thing I did was want to interview the top leaders. I wanted to find out, you know, what's the roadmap to success in this industry? And so I flew to the East Coast and interviewed one of their large distributors. I went to California and interviewed one of their large distributors. And as I interviewed all 10, I found that there were 10 different ways of building the business. But the one thing that was the most common thread through all 10 leaders was a strong work ethic. What I think put us over the top to, to actually do this as a, as a distributor was the fact that I felt like I could work as hard as they could. I felt like they did not have any more education than I had. I felt like I had worked with Fortune 100 companies and yet they were earning seven, eight, nine, ten times the amount or more of what I was earning in the corporate realm. So I know Gordon hates when I give this uh, thought with corporate employees around because I really tell them, you know, if you're willing to work and really w willing to roll up your sleeves and work for 90 days like there's no tomorrow, you can literally set yourself up that will change dramatically your personal income level that might dramatically change your life forever. Uh, when Gordon gave me a telephone call and asked me if I would be interested in taking a look at a new company that they were forming, my first reaction was, no, Gordon, your timing's not right. Um, we have two kids in college. I, I don't think that this is a good time to be doing this. And he said, just come take a look. And so I remember the date, March 19th, and I remember getting on a plane and flying over to Utah and meeting at the Macaroni Grill restaurant where they have crayons on the table. And I remember Gordon taking a crayon and writing X-A-N capital G-O across the the table there and I thought wow that's kind of cool Zango and I said what is that and so he got all excited and I thought wow this really is becoming the dream team Gary and Beverly and then having Kent Wood and Brian Davis and having Aaron Garrity and Joe Morton and Gordon Morton I thought this is this is the this is going to work this is going to be good I was all for it because of that Sincere, um, oh, what's the word I want? What's this? Integrity. Integrity. Um, passion. Work ethic, passion, kindness. I'm like, oh, you, you go, do this, because I had all the confidence in the world. Right after we got married, he said, when I'm 25, I'm going to be making this much money. And we got he got to 25, and I remember when he turned 25, he said, when I'm 30, I'm going to be making this much money. 
And when he got to 30, he says, when I'm 35, I'm going to be making this much money. And he always made more than what he had set his goal to make. So I knew he wanted to be successful financially. And I found out the reason he wanted to be successful was because he wanted to have fun. And he knew that life was an adventure. He'd say this all the time, life is an adventure or it's nothing at all. City sides, neon lights, bright in the way that every young girl's dream. Golden streets, the heartbeat, light and shade, the stage on which we play. One of the fun things about this business is it's very difficult to have a typical day. It comes at you from each direction uh, so fast sometimes. I'll tell you there's some core things that we tend to do on a daily basis. You know, you have to plan your work and you have to work your plan. And you have to do that with your group. I tell people you have to get up in the morning, you have to get in the shower, you have to think about the people that you've personally sponsored that you're working with that are in your group, in your team, in your organization. You have to ask yourself, what can I do today to help them be successful? I, I tell people, it's like learning how to fly. When you're taking flying lessons and, and you put that throttle down, you've got to put it all the way down. And you make a decision at some point where if it's go or no go. And when it's a go, you leave that throttle down until you're up in the air and you clear and you're, and you're in a space where you become comfortable. It's just like a, a rocket getting to outer space. It takes all that initial energy in the beginning. If you have a goal of earning a substantial income with this business, you have to put that, that kind of effort forward. Be very clear on what your goals are and why you're getting into the business. How much money do you want to make? How much time do you want to devote to it? Because that will dictate what you need to do in order to get there. You need to tell me in three minutes why you're in this business. Is it to make more money? Is it for time freedom? Do you want to fire your boss? Do you want to change your life? What do you want to do with it? And tell me, and then I can structure what I think you need in order to, to get there. I've always felt it fun to learn about different things, you know, and I wanted to take sailing lessons. And so I went to Mel and I said, let's take sailing lessons together. And she said, sure. So we went to Florida, took sailing lessons. And then the next year I said, let's rent a sailboat in the, in the British West Indies and sail around with some families. And she was like, sure, let's do it. So we rented a sailboat and we sailed around. And I remember sitting out on the end of that sailboat, 50 foot sailboat. And I was making calls and I was doing emails on my Blackberry and I thought, this is it. This is what I wanted to do. I didn't want to be in a cubicle the rest of my life. I wanted to be able to make an income, but do it on a 50-foot sailboat in the British Virgin Islands. He has a good time, and I have a good time. So it's, it's a great life. I wouldn't want it any other way.